Hare Krishna students, so this is a very wonderful problem. Here what we will do is that we will calculate the resistance of a hollow cylinder. So in which situation? This is the data that is given that this is a hollow cylinder of length L which is shown in the diagram and its inner radius is A and outer radius is B as we can see here and the resistivity of the material is rho. Suppose a potential difference is applied across the ends of the cylinder means basically the potential difference is across this point and this end point fine. So what we can say here is that current is flowing parallel to the axis. Obviously current will flow parallel to the axis. What is the resistance measured? Fine. So what we have to calculate is the resistance measure. Now as we know already that for calculating resistance we need R that is rho L by A. So the resistance everywhere is same. Resistivity everywhere is same. Length is everywhere is same. And we can say here this is the area. So what area the current will flowing? This area the current will be flowing. This one. Correct? So what we will say? Always remember this thing that length is that part of that dimension across which current moves. That much distance the current has to move that part is known as length and the cross-sectional area where the current hits while moving that is known as a area so if we see here then we got our resistance very easily rho into capital l divided by pi into b square minus a square fine so in this way we got it now the second part of this question comes this is very very important what this part is telling is that if instead the potential difference is applied between the inner and the outer surface so that the current flows radially outward radially outward means if we see its front view and let us say this is radius a and this another is radius b if we see then the potential difference is between these two points capital a and capital b Capital A and capital B have potential difference. So then what will happen? The current will flow like this. This way. Current will flow in this way. Mm, fine. So this is known as radial flow of current. Which they have written here. Current flows radially outward. So this is known as radial flow of current. So again we thought that uh, let us calculate the resistance. Resistance calculation we came. We thought rho L by A. We got rho. That is same everywhere. L, L also we can think that sir this is B minus A, we may try to write B minus A divided by resistance area. Now you remember when I was telling you in the last video, last uh, this point here A, that what is this A? A is the cross sectional area, when current is moving it hits it, fine. So if you will see here this current is going radially outward and when this current is going radially outward so when it is going radially outward so it will hit the inner surface area and inner surface area is something that we can say sir so that sir becomes 2 pi a into l think about this this became circumference 2 pi a fine and into length l so this becomes inner surface area and then the outer surface area becomes something different that becomes 2 pi a sorry 2 pi b into l now if you see these both the are different inner surface area and the outer surface area both are different but here what we had thought that let us say we can calculate resistance but the biggest confusion that we got here is that neither we know that which area we have to take and if we see when the current is flowing radially outward at each moment at each point it is hitting another different area so it means we can't calculate the resistance of this circuit in of the cylinder in this way we will have to take help of integration so how we will take help of integration let us see so before that what we will do is that we have to always remember one thing that for doing integration we always need an element fine and the elements are fixed 
what are the elements are fixed means see let us say this is a cylinder for cylinder the elements are always fixed means whenever you have to do a question 99.99% of the time the element that will be taken is a hollow cylinder of radius small r and thickness dr always remember this thing fine so whenever you have to solve this kind of problem for cylinder you can always take a shell hollow shell whose radius is r and thickness is dr fine so now what i did is that i thought that okay, i have to do this part so i selected a shell which will be somewhere here inside it i am drawing it so i selected a thin shell like this in this way i have selected a shell and this shell if i see then what i can say is that that whenever the current is going out whenever the current will be going out of this cylinder in the radial direction then it will pass through many many these types of shells you are getting so whenever the current will flow radially outward it will pass through many many hundreds and millions of these types of shells so what we can say is that the current will pass through one shell after another shell after another shell it means the old shell will be come in which situation they will be in series here it again because people have the biggest confusion people think there is old shells are in parallel no this is one and when the current will pass in the radial direction it will meet one by one by one by another different different shells so all these shells will be counted in what they will be counted in series fine so what we have to do is that let us calculate resistance of one small shell and for and after calculating this resistance of small shell element what we will do we'll just integrate it so formula again it becomes how much rho and length obviously the shell is something like this so this is the front view that i had drawn but if in reality we will see this shell will be something like this so this shell will be something like this fine cylindrical shell it is so what we will do we'll calculate the resistance of the small shell small shell if we see then the current is passing like this so it means current has to travel a distance dr while passing through the shell so this became rho dr upon area of the shell area of the shell becomes 2 pi radius is r and length is l this becomes the surface area so now let us integrate it while integration we will cal will get the things which are constant outside this became dr upon r and resistance goes from a to b this is a easy resistance rho upon 2 pi l l and b by a fine so this was a very good problem similarly students there are problems which have spheres like they will give you the situation that there is a sphere like this and the current is flowing radially outward you have to understand that everything will be similarly done except the element what the element that we will take now it will become a thin spherical shell in case of sphere thin spherical shell and what is the resistance for thin spherical shell i'll just write rho into dr upon we know the surface area of the thin spherical shell you just integrate it from a to b you will get answer of thin spherical shell or means for the spheres also okay thank you hari krishna